This is de Garros book readings of my two published paper books written by and read aloud by Prof. Dr. Hugo de Garros. Email profhugodegarros at yahoo.com. Website profhugodegarros.wordpress.com. This is the forward from my book The Artelect War Cosmos versus Terrans. A bitter controversy concerning whether humanity should build godlike, massively intelligent machines. Forward. Hugo de Garris and I go back a long way. Oh, by the way, this is written by my colleague and friend. If I can get the page to come up quickly enough. Well, anyway, it's uh, Kevin, Professor Kevin Warwick, or Warwick, W-A-R-W-I-C-K. He's Professor of Cybernetics at Reading University, England, uh, author of three books, I, Cyborg, In the Mind of the Machine, March of the Machines. And he wrote in the foreword of my first book, getting the page coming up. It's coming up rather slowly because my machine is multitasking, I guess. <coughs> Forward. Hugo de Garris and I go back a long way. We have often appeared together over the years as invited speakers at international gatherings of futuristic thinkers. What we have in common is the belief that later this century, humanity will have to confront the prospect of being replaced by a new dominant species, namely ultra-intelligent robots controlled by ultra-intelligent artificial brains. Where Hugo and I differ is that, using his terminology, he's primarily a cosmist, that's someone who believes in his words that godlike, massively intelligent machines should be built, no matter what the risk to humanity's future survival. Hugo would, I think, label me as a Terran someone who is opposed to the idea that Cosmos should be allowed to build such ultra-intelligent machines. I remember a conversation with him at a recent conference we both happened to be at. He asked me whether I was a Cosmist or a Terran. I said that Terran was nearer the mark. Hugo then bristled and said half-jokingly, I guess that's how it starts. He was referring to his intellect war scenario that this book is about. He felt that a major war will brew between the Cosmists and the Terrans late this century over whether humanity should or should not build these godlike massive, uh, these godlike machines that he calls artelects, that's artificial intellects. In actual fact, I would consider myself more as a Cyborgian than a Terran. Cyborgians are people who look to technically upgrade their bodies to become cyborgs that is, part machine, part human. I hope that by enhancing ourselves, we humans can have our cake and eat it too by achieving the dream of attaining the godlike abilities that Hugo talks about by converting ourselves into part artelects without having to pay the cost of a major war. In a sense, I'm looking, as a, looking at a sort of compromise rather than having ultra-intelligent artificial brains acting against humanity we join with them. A few years ago, Hugo and I gave invited talks at a venue in Switzerland. Half jokingly, and to make a point, Hugo had arranged for the organizer of the meeting to supply him with a child's cowboy gun, which he then used to, inverted commas, shoot me once we had finished our talks. A photo of this event can be found on Hugo's website at and I'll just read out the, the URL has changed. The one in the book is no longer valid, so I'll give you one that works currently. So the URL is profugo de Garris, that's all one word, dot wordpress dot com slash and then all one word first shot artelect war. But uh, the word first is uh, spelt one st. 
So first shot, Artelect War. It's entitled The First Shot in the Artelect War. I sincerely hope it will not come to this sort of end game in the real world. Hugo's scenario of a major war late this century in which literally billions with a B of people die due to the use of advanced 21st century weaponry is extremely depressing and I firmly hope he is wrong, dead wrong, for the sake of humanity's and cyborgian survival. After the reader has finished studying this book, serious doubts may well arise as to whether my more optimistic scenario is more likely to win out. Hugo's reasoning is frighteningly persuasive, even though my viscera reject what he is saying. The fact that he's pioneering the new field of artificial brains only increases the credibility of his vision. If only anyone, anyone in the world is in a good position to predict the future impact of advanced artificial brains on humanity, it must be Hugo. I believe that this book is of profound importance. If many decades into the future, Hugo is proven to be correct in saying that the species dominance issue will dominate our global politics this century, then he will have become one of the major thinkers of the 21st century. With no offence to Hugo, I hope that he will be shown to have been wrong, to be shown to have exaggerated and overreacted, because if not, the fate that he is suggesting will befall our grandchildren is too horrible to grasp fully for all humanity, what he would call giga-death. No matter where you sit on the Cosmos Terran opinion spectrum, this is a book that cannot and should not be ignored. It's too important and too disturbing to be summarily dismissed. I advise you that you read it, then read it again, and try to find faults with Hugo's logic and judgment, so that we can all look forward to a peaceful, prosperous 21st century. Because if Hugo's vision is correct, the hellish nightmare as portrayed in films such as The Terminator will become a reality. And saying again, uh, this was written by the Ford, written by Kevin Warwick, or Warwick, W-A-R-W-I-C-K, PhD. Professor of Cybernetics, Reading University, England, author of the three books, I, Cyborg, In the Mind of the Machine, March of the Machines. Ciao.